all virtually this year we invited applications for nomination different categories of awards where in around more than 150 nominations were made through auction and out of which we have selected only 34 finalists which are who are being awarded today so uh, uh, without being late today we have a very special guest among us a very dynamic energetic multi dimensional personality and an absolute role model for us who so far and on leading and who is in administrative positions a true vert versatilist she is many like practitioner policy maker scholar author volunteer the hybrid leader with a unique mix of public service business school and credentials she works collaboratively across the private public and non for profit sectors and during the one year she was recognized as a great warrior of humanity the national human rights advisory council for her outstanding performance commitment contribution and dedication towards the human services and best practices on covid-19 prevention appreciated by unicef and the rajiv gandhi university sciences for support in covid-19 response she is now an additional chief secretary department of youth empowerment and government of karnataka dr kalpana gopalan and is officer ma'am i welcome you and uh, i request for saying a few words of wisdom and encourage to our women awardees who have worked hard to contribute to the society and to shape future in a unique way over to you ma'am thank you so much for that very kind introduction uh good evening to all of you it's a lovely sunday evening lovely women and the men gathered here let me begin by saying that i am always anxious when i am called to speak to a group of women what exactly does my woman audience want standing before you this evening i have too many choices i can of course talk about myself the choices that i have made in my life i have led a not an interesting life or i can speak of what makes a successful woman should i give you five mantras for success like a youtube artist such quick fix formula can descend to superficiality for behind our lives and our struggles lie powerful structural issues and cultural values and a society resistant to change we live and work in a milieu where the glass ceiling still exists where the brilliant successes of some women camouflage the chronic sense of powerlessness that each of us feel at some point or even throughout our lives stay there my predicament as a speaker is actually symptomatic of the dilemma that faces all of us as women the fact is that the women's narrative is still being written unlike men whose roles have been chalked out for centuries now women have a harder challenge in scripting their individual and collective narratives because with every new historical or individual development our story turns and meanders into a new path we are like a river charting its own course so when you ask me to speak about women it is best that i give you my own example or the example of women that i know so i will speak to you today about women like us who are scripting their own stories forging their own life paths you see on the screen mallika she is standing with me at 7 am in the morning posing for a photograph let me narrate mallika's story she drives a buggy 
at the KLA Medical College in Belgaum. Mallika was married young and she lost her husband in her early 20s. And she had to bring up her two children, a boy and a girl, <coughs> as a single mother. Fortunately for Mallika, the women's wing of the KLE society took her under its wing. It is one example of how women can help women. She trained to drive and was provided employment and over a period of time, she got her daughter married, educated her son, while she continues to drive. As Mallika told it to me, her story was a happy one. Looking at her with her bright, cheery smile at 7 a.m. in the morning, you would never guess the struggles she has had to overcome in life. For me, Mallika is a heroine. <laughs> Next slide, please. When narratives are still being written, one small word or gesture can make a world of difference to someone's life. I met Sunidhi Manjunath in Chikmagalur a few years ago. All of 12 years old, this seventh standard student of the Asha Kirana Blind School captivated me with her agility in blind chess. Sunidhi so is fully visually challenged, but her skill and her smile belie this. On International Women's Day in March 2019, I spoke to a forum of women like you, and I spoke of Sunidhi and said, I won't be surprised if Sunidhi becomes a champion soon. And she did it. Sunidhi won the first prize in the first National Open Federating Chess Tournament for the Visually Challenge, which was held in Goa in April 2019. And I received a message from Sunidhi's parents. I'll read it first in Kannada and translate it for you. Hardika Danyavadagalu, madam. Tamma kaalaji kakkaligalu a maguvi na bavishya dhati dodda da asha kiranagulu. So they thanked me for my best wishes and said that my interest and the blessings that I had given her become, became the Asha Kirana. Asha Kirana was the, also the school where she studied in. Became the Asha Kirana of her future, became the beacon for her future. So this is the message which I received from her parents and it's a message I cherish. A chance meeting resulted in a lifelong association. Next slide, please. As choices facing us increase, writing the story and the very task of choosing which story to write becomes more complex. It can have consequences that one hardly foresees at that time. I made one such choice as a naive and nervous college girl some 30 odd years ago. As I was nearing the completion of my undergraduate degree, one of my officious uncles decided that it was time that I get married. I was generally an obedient child. So this was one of the rare confrontations with my parents that I remember. I was preparing for my BA final exams at that time. I used to dart out from my room in the middle of my studies to insist, I want to do my MA. I want to do my MA. That was the extent of my horizon and ambition at that time. An MA degree was as far as I could dream. Anyways, it worked. I did get to do my MA and then the IAS and then two more master's degrees and then a PhD. That rare instance of stubbornness very rare for me indeed at the time, defined the rest of my life thereafter. So, dear women, in my work in the government or my voluntary work outside it, I get to interact with women like Sunidhi and Mallika and you, who inspire me with their stories of determination, challenges and survival. One thing I find in common 
among these women is their authenticity. These women are not seeking money or fame or power. They are not looking at what their neighbor or co-worker has. They are busy living their own life. They do not waste time in petty rivalries or envy or bad-mouthing someone else. Their days are full with balancing their own joys, disappointments and shores and ticking their many, many to-do lists. From their lives and from my own, I have drawn some lessons that I would like to share with you today. One, invest in yourself. It could be health, fitness, nutrition, nutrition, pursuing a degree, reading, or having a financial nest egg. Two, build a support network. Ask for help and allow yourself to be helped and contributed to. Third, determine your own standards. March to the beat of your own drum. Four, find one interest or several. You need something to keep you in good stead in the working world. For me, it is learning. But it could be anything, voluntary work, designing, photography, spirituality, wherever your interest takes you. The most rewarding opportunity of all is to help someone who is less privileged than you are. Let go of all guilt, all bitterness. Be happy. This life is only for once. I would like to add one more thing. Faith helps. Faith in yourself, in those close to you, and in God or the universe. In the course of my work, I have seen people devastated by calamities and poverty. But their cheer, their confidence, their courage was intact even as they saw their homes and lands vanish before their eyes. There are times when no formula, no solution, nothing can help you. There is just you. And you, I know for sure, will find your own way, your own path, your own balance for a better life. Thank you all. Wish you all the very best. And congratulations.